than 400 opportunities just open in Brazil and this one is massive there's a federal universities in Brazil that just opened more than 400 opportunities for masters and PhD in 18 different graduate programs and guess what applications are open right now if you have ever dreamt of doing your masters or PhD in Brazil with full academic support this is your moment but you only have until October 10 2025 to submit your application and I'm about to show you exactly where and how to apply on my screen you can see Federal University of Jokuntiyoya and Mercury Valley. Okay, so this university is in a state called Minas Gerais. Minas Gerais. So you can do your background check about that. Again, my one of my obligations is to bring you opportunity. Then do your background check and see if it is somewhere you would like to uh, go to. So straight to it. It says UF. UFVJM is offering more than 400 places for master's and doctoral program in 18 stricto sensu graduate programs. Application begins today. This opportunity came out on the 1st of October and it run the 10th of October. These dates are very important for you to take note of. So opportunities are for entry in the first semester of 2026 and include places in academic masters, doctoral and professional masters program. Each program has a specific announcement for the selection process with all the information about the selection process such as the documents, location to apply, the timeline and the process steps. So guys, I want you to follow me as I'm going to be showing you the different opportunities that are available in this program. So, it says check below the numbers of vacancies at the level of course be it masters or doctorate that are offered by the 18 different by the 18 different programs so the first one is postgraduate program in public administration they have 24 vacancies postgraduate program in pharmaceutical sciences they have 14 vacancies postgraduate program in forest science they have 15 vacancies postgraduate studies in human sciences they have 27 postgraduate, postgraduate studies in nutritional sciences 10 food science and technology 12 education 23 science mathematics and technology 20 health education 12 geology 10 plant production 22 social policy and regional development 12 rehabilitation and functional performance 27 interdisciplinary the list on and on look at this one postgraduate studies in technology environment and society it has 33 then we have postgraduate studies in animal science 11 we have associate degree in animal science 13 postgraduate studies in chemistry we have 52 opportunities guys you agree with me that this is massive indeed so if you are interested in any areas of the programs that i've mentioned you can apply now let me let me take it a step further by clicking the um the editor the editor is just the notice that will break down some of them so again you can see these are the program uh you know where they are mentioned one after the other so now if you want to go to the program that you are interested in the, what you need to do is to click for example if you're going to be going for public administration you will click this part then if you're going to be going for pharmaceutical sciences you will click here but one thing is very important that i need to let you know and the thing is that the instruction for this particular program is different from the one for the one in public administration so i don't want you to take for example i'm going to be taking one as a uh for simulation right so i don't want you to think that the instruction in the one i will be using for the uh for this video for example is what will be required for all of them so whichever one that is um specific to you you have to also click it and read the instruction there's no way i can read every one of them one after the other so let's just take the first one which is postgraduate program in public administration and once you click this part 
it will bring you to this space that says announcement this lecture for the postgraduate program in public administration for the first academic semester of 2026 don't forget that the first academic semester in 2026 is going to be starting in march or april right because we need so take time and read about some sort of program information about the program so try to read that so once you are done doing that try to look at some of the requirements request for the challenge of the notice you know if you are familiar with the academic terrain in brazil you know that you can actually um do what they call a postal you can actually call for if you apply for something and your name is not out you can actually ask for you know why or you can try to appeal you call it appeal so so the, the if you want to appeal you have to read the terms and conditions request for views so try to read this place first and all of that i mean request to challenge the terms of the notice if you want to challenge it is it this down here is the request for appeal request for reconsideration all of them these are the preliminary information you need so once you are done doing that you have to click this part where you are seeing notice 11 2026-1 ppg gap right once you click this part it will take you to this part so this place is a pdf and this is where the instruction for this particular program uh public administration this is the pdf where it is so some people reach out to me they don't know how to uh translate documents so by now if you are going for a master's degree how to translate a document shouldn't be a big deal to you right i believe you should have been able to you know it's something you should have learned how to do if you don't know how to translate just use your google uh the app to translate is on the google is on the google app okay so once you get once you get to this part download this pdf and once you are done downloading it then translate it to english or to whatever language that you understand okay so in my own case for the purpose of this video, i'm just going to leave it in both case this way so uh but i already know the information that i need to talk about so the first thing that you need to do is that you need to read about the and there is an attachment called annex one so uh you are also going to do a sort of filling of form in using this particular website so once you have done filling the form there's a form under the receipt there's going to be generated and that receipt is going to be attached to what you have said then the front and back of the certificate is also needed as part of, as uh, part of the document you need for the submission of this application then you need your rg if you're in brazil uh, if you're a Brazilian, you need your RG. If you are a foreigner, you need your passport and uh, a copy of your passport is needed. Then you also need your curriculum lattice. You need, um, you need, you know, when you do your curriculum lattice, there is also a place where you're going to attach all the uh, uh, supporting documents. You need that. Then you also need a project which is compulsory. You can see obligatory mentions that is compulsory. So you have to. Um, submit a project in addition to all the documents you are going to be need so here they said there is a need for uh, ampad you know this is one of the reasons why most foreigners cannot apply for courses related to this but i think in this case if you are a foreigner you can be able maybe you can find a way or figure out a way to justify it in your email however it is clearly stated that ampad result of your ampad is needed in case you don't know what what uh what ampad is ampad is a professional is a uh yeah it's a, prof it's a professional exam that people within the administration administrative or administration space usually write okay so um the test of it is also requested so guys you can try to read all of this information don't forget i said it again that you need to translate it to english and check now this is the this is the um every of those things that you are going to submit this is the weight the point each of them carries your project is carrying the highest your cv is carrying 20 
your uh, your ability your ability because it's still going to be like an interview your ability to to defend the project is going to carry 30 marks and together it is 100 mark and out of these i mean all of these is a nature that is if one does not perform very well in any of these stages you can see classificatoria e eliminatoria each of them is classificatory in nature and each of them is also a nature in nature for example if you perform very well with your project you are going to go to the next stage and in the next stage if you perform very well it will also take you to the next stage and vice versa but i'm wishing everyone that's going to be uh, applying you know seeing this video i'm wishing you best of luck if you find value in this video i would like you to kindly hit the notification button and i would like you to like and share it with someone that may be of interest that may be in need of it again i am appreciating you and i'm thanking you in advance don't forget again that this particular information i'm reading right here is specific for business administration so if you are interested in applying to any other one that is not business administration you can come over here and check them one after the other we have opportunities in different uh, areas of knowledge so guys i'm wishing you best of luck again don't forget the rule in i mean the rule is that if any of the 18th program that i mentioned here is not yours try to share it with someone that may be interested again when you share information you are empowering the person so guys i'm wishing you best of luck if there's any clarification you would need from me drop a comment and i will try my best to respond you can also reach out to me on tiktok or on instagram the name is knowledge blogging and i'll be glad to respond to your uh, question i will see you in my next video Atomize. ciao ciao